Hello, my name is Christopher Colocho, and this is the first in a series of videos discussing how to play the trombone. In this particular video, I will be going over how to properly open the case, the different parts of the instrument in the case, and then from there I will demonstrate how to properly assemble the instrument, and then, and then we will go into how to properly buzz freely with the mouthpiece, and then I will briefly go over how to hold the trombone, and then we will go into buzzing on the trombone to get our first notes. But for now, we are going to look at my case and how to properly open it. All right, so this is my case, all right? You're gonna to wanna to sit like this on the floor when you're about to open it. Now, every case needs to be in either this direction or this direction when it opens. Now, to find out which direction your case opens, you wanna look for a company logo. Now, this logo may be for the brand that makes your trombone or the brand that makes your case. But you want to be able to see that logo when you open the case. Another way to be sure, or if your case does not come with any logos, is to look for these kinds of latches. These, are, these two are the most common types of latches. Now, for this latch, you're going to want to look for this flap and these rods. This flap will always point to the ground when it needs to be opened and these latches will point upwards when it needs to be opened. The other kind of latch is this latch. It's just a singular part. Now the direction that it opens up, you want to have face upwards while the direction it goes to be locked face downwards. So, we'll open our case, noting the logo and the latches. And as you can see, my, the inside of my case is now open. Now the inside of my case may be structured completely different than your case and may be in different colors. And also, as you may see, I have a different kind of trombone than you may most likely have. I have a bass trombone where you may have a straight tenor as a beginner, or you may have a um, tenor that, does, that has one of these attachments that is an F attachment. We'll get more into that in another video, but I just want to discuss it shortly. Now, as I said, this is the bell section of my trombone. Over here under this flap, I have the slide. And I have a space for mouthpieces and a space, play, and a space for maintenance supplies. Now your case may not have a place for your mouthpiece or your, slot, or your um, supplies, but it will have space for your bell section and your slide. So when we assemble the um, trombone, we are going to first take out the slide, followed by the bell section and the mouthpiece. I'm going to show you that in a better camera angle. All right, now we're going to assemble our trombone. You want to first grab your slide, all right? And you want to make sure that you have the slide lock on. It won't move if it's on. Now, once that's in, you're going to see that there are two openings. There is a lead pipe and a receiver, all right? This receiver will be taller. It will have some threading, and this is where the bell section comes in. This lead pipe, again, will be shorter. It will have no threading or anything like that, and will have the mouthpiece enter so, we will grab our bell section. As you can see, this is the bell. But there is another smaller opening right here. You can see that this thing will move and spin. This is what secures to the receiver. So, we will grab the receiver again, the tall portion, put it in to this portion of the receiver, and we will tighten this screw. All right, once that screw is tightened, we want to look at this bell section and this pipe. We'll see uh, there is a spacing for it. We want to keep it around in the, uh, an inch, two inches, and sometimes even three inches. Just depends on what you are, again, comfortable with. So once, that, once you have found the place that you feel is right, just tighten, these slide, the, tighten the screw and put it up to your face. Now you don't have to Put the correct position yet, just kind of hold it and make sure that it does not fall down. Now, if it goes like this and starts to droop down, just put it back to where you think it's comfortable and adjust it even further to make it make sure that it is tight. All right, now we still need to attach the mouthpiece. So we're going to put it here in this lead pipe, that the only pipe that's open. So grab your mouthpiece and you're going to want to put it in this lead pipe. Now. Just having it sit like there is not secure. So you're going to want to give it a small twist. You can barely notice the twist. It does not need to be that big. And I'll show you, just set it in and give it a small twist. 
Again, hard to notice, but it will stay secure. Now to remove the mouse piece when you are done playing, just twist it in the opposite direction and just lift it up. It doesn't necessarily be, need to be the opposite direction, but you do need to give it a small twist to release it so it can get out. All right. Now that is the general assembly of your trombone. All right, now before we start buzzing, we must discuss how we hold the trombone. There are two ways to hold it, whether you have triggers like I do or not, there's only one difference. And that difference is you put your thumb right here, all right? Now, if you do not have a trigger, where did my pencil go? There it is. If you do not have a trigger, you will have this bracing bar, all right? This bracing bar will be much lower for you. For me, it's higher because I need room for the trigger action. But if not, but if you do not have it, your bar will be roughly around here. Now, what you want to do is take your left hand, all right? And you want that bracing bar to sit right there in the webbing of your thumb. And then you want your thumb to wrap around it. On the horn, it would look like this, all right? Now, as you can see, my first finger is here. That is a general idea. Sometimes I play with it up here or down here. It's just whatever is comfortable with you, but that's where your ring finger will go. Now, for the rest of your hand, your middle ring and pinky will sit here, all right? And that is generally how you hold it with your left hand. Now, if your hand is smaller, you may want to put your index finger over here, all right? That is a good way to keep it in line. If not, you may also put it with the rest of your fingers down over here. One thing to watch out for is your palm getting in the way of the slide action. If you feel that you're touching this metal over here, raise it up to a higher position and just keep it out of the way because it can get hurt. Now, for the left hand, or sorry, the right hand, what you want to do to hold the slide is take these three fingers. And what you want to do is that you put two, first two fingers underneath it, and you put your thumb right over it, and that's essentially how you hold it. Now, you want to remember to remove the slide lock, like now, and you move. And then when you're done, put it back. And that is essentially how you hold the trombone. And so now we will work on how to get the proper buzzing and embouchure to play the trombone. Now, Embouchure is a fancy word for how we focus our lips for buzzing. But to get the general idea of how to buzz, what you do is you take your lips, relax them, and blow some air through them. And that's a general idea of how to buzz. Now, for the embouchure, you want a more focused buzz. And to create the embouchure for how your, mouth, your lips will be to play is that you, you tighten the corners of your lips. Right here, we call them chops. And this will then thus tighten the rest of your lips and thus making it look like you have a little bit of a frown. All right. Now, from there, you want to pass air just as you did with the wider buzz. Just now more focus. And that is essentially how you do the buzz. Up close, it will look like... All right. You may notice that that is very small and not as wide as it was before. That is essentially the embouchure to play trombone. Now, some things you may want to consider is that you may not have the strength in your corners to essentially make it. What you want to do is thus go with the big white buzz that we talked about earlier and start tightening it up. You may have that issue where it goes and that is just through your lips getting into the formation but that's a good way to develop the strength for the corners of your lips. Just look at a mirror and make sure that you are getting that frown. That is a very good indicator. Another thing to look out for while you're looking at a mirror is that you're rolling your lips in. You're not going to get that much of a buzz and you also want to make sure you look that your lips are not sticking out like that. Now once you have that good, you want to take off your mouthpiece. Now to take off your mouthpiece, you just twist it in one direction and you lift it up. All right? And then you rest the rest of your trombone down on the floor if you have it on your lap. Now what you want to do with your mouthpiece is figure out where it's going to be. And where it's going to be is 50-50 divided amongst your lips. Uh, so, well, now to do mouthpiece buzzing, you must hold it correctly for your lips. And that is in your non-dominant hand. I am right-handed, so I will hold it with my left. Now to hold it with my left, I want to put these two fingers right here on the bottom of what this is called the shank, and my thumb on the back of it. Kind of like how we hold the slide. Now, for this, you, you want to bring it up to your face, and it helps keep the pressure down holding it down here. You do not want to hold it like such, that it makes it very easy for you to put too much pressure on your face. And you definitely do not want to hold it like this because it makes it almost automatic that you're putting too much, too much uh, pressure on your face. 
just hold it like such and for the glue your face. Again, you don't want to go to it. You want it to come to you. That will mess up your posture, which we will cover in another video. Now, you want to just start buzzing. Oh. Just like you did without the mouthpiece, and you should essentially get that. Now, if you're not getting the buzz, try pushing um, some more air to um, have, let it happen. It may appear louder, and that's good. You just want to get the note to come out. Oh. And that's how you want it to happen. We'll discuss breathing in uh, the next video. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you don't have air escaping from the corners of your lips. That is generally that you're having weak corners to let air escape. Another thing you also might want to consider if that's happening is that your lips are not moist enough. Now, to get your lips moist enough, just lick your lips, or you could try licking your mouthpiece, and that'll help create the seal, but if that's still not working, it may be that you need to strengthen your chops. Also, another thing to look out for is that you're not puffing your cheeks like such. <laughs> All right, you want to keep them firm, almost like they're not changing, and that is usually a case that you're just letting your um, chops not work while they're creating the buzz, and they're not letting the um, cheeks be reinforced. All right, there should be almost no change. Oh. All right, and that's just a thing to look out for. Just no, look in a mirror and see if you are puffing your cheeks. All right, now, once you have worked on your mouthpiece buzzing and you feel comfortable that you can play it on your horn, you just want to get your horn back up. You want to put the mouthpiece back by sticking it in the receiver and giving it a slight twist. Now, for playing on the trombone, remember how we hold it. And what you want to do is, again, bring the trombone mouthpiece to your face. You don't want to go to it. That will mess up your posture. You want to bring it to your and start buzzing. And that will make your first note. Now, if you're having trouble, again, like I said with the mouthpiece, just start blowing more air and that should help coming out. If you're having trouble, try, um, try tightening your lips more and see if you can create a higher note. And that may actually help it come out. And again, if you're having trouble there, try going lower and that also may help you help the note come out. Again, if you're having air, air coming out of the sides, that might be trouble with that again. Another thing you want to consider looking into is if you are having your lips stick too far in, that will create a more airy tone. And you want to bring your lips back into the mouthpiece and thus create a more clear tone. And, and that is essentially how you create a embouchure for the mouth for the mouthpiece or the trombone to make your first note. Now your first note may be higher or lower from what I've given. That does not matter. You try just trying to get your notes to come out. We'll talk more about partials, breathing, posture, and um, slide positions in other videos. But you essentially just want to start getting your trombone, getting the notes. Now, keep in mind that you're a beginner and just keep practicing. And if you're having trouble with the, um, with the notes coming out on your mouthpiece, take the mouthpiece off, look in a mirror, see what's happening. If, if that's not working, go back to the mirror with or without the mouthpiece and make sure that you are getting things right. All right. Then in our next video, we will be discussing air quality, um, posture, slide positions, and possibly how to work our intonations and maintenance.